global happenings today, we communicate, we analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings today. Some days back, Simon Ekba had promised those following him and those also following the teacher for Biafra that um, come 15th of March, if Nigerian army or demilitarization of South East doesn't stop, definitely he's going to bring in, activate the guerrilla uh, strategy. A lot of um, Biafrans react reacted. A lot of women people reacted. Others were looking forward to him. Others also complimented him, insisting he should do the need for all as we speak. It looks like a well-wishers and other Biafrans have decided to speak up and not keep calm over what is about to take place. Well, before we go into the news, I would like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. If you see a bell notification icon, please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Well, a popular diaspora based member of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ikenga Uruago, has advised Simon Ekba, a self styled disciple of the group's leader, Nandekanu, not to take a life he cannot give. While report has it that Ekba threatened, as a Tuesday, that if Southeast governors backed clam down on insurgents and occasional destruction of civilian property continue, it will be met with consequences. Well, reacting, Uragu cautioned Ekba on his threats saying i will not stop you but please don't kill politicians and then put it on indigenous people of biafra that's common sense so i would advise simon not to take a life he cannot give it's true that most of our politicians and some of the elders are evil but you have no right to take anyone's life according to you that is according to simon Ekba. From the 15th of March 2022, you will destroy all the governors and other politicians. I will not stop you from doing that, but please don't kill politicians and then put it on the indigenous people of Biafra. I think God beg you, Mr. Simon, Ora wrote on his known social media page. There has been a spike in recent months in the waves of insecurity in many parts of the five states that make up the Southeast. This has been epitomized by the spite of killings and arson and other forms of violent criminal activities in the region. While authorities blame the mindless killings on indigenous people of Biafra and its armed wing, Eastern Security Network, the group has always denied being responsible. And they have always shown signs of restraint as at when we. Okay, you have heard of what um, Oro has got to say. Um, he actually said that he cannot stop Simon Ekba from doing what he needs to do. He also acknowledged the fact that the Southeastern politicians can be evil sometimes and mischievous. The elders can also be mischievous sometimes. But taking a life that he cannot give and blaming it on IPOB that is just begging him. Whatever you want to do, do, but don't blame it on IPB because that's the truth. The truth of the matter is every bad, evil, negative um, social vice that takes place in the South East, even UGM at some point, they said it was another arm of um, IPOB. But as events unfold and politicians begin to call themselves out and call themselves names, the names of the UGM begin to take form and the UGM became GM, known, it became KGM non government, no more UGM or non government. So you see, so to a great extent, simply because these guys are having their or asking for self determination, everything seems to be boiling down on them. Or, or people understand the fact that initially they called for the uh, the city at home order, but they suspended it. Now with this autopilot and Simon Ekwa saying he's going to bring a gorilla strategy, and he's begging him, please whatever you want to do, do, but let IPOB name be far from your mouth, and far from anybody who's going to blame it on them. Let's meet in a conversation. Do you agree with what this staunch member of IPB has said? That 15th is already come, it's already here, and we're actually in the next day of the 15th, which means whatever that will unfold in the coming days, hours, weeks, it shouldn't be blamed on IPB, but they should trace it down to Simon Ekba himself. Let's interact also take this. Do have a nice time.